This is the hair before the haircut. It's long around the size. I don't really know what I'm gonna get, but we'll be back in about five seconds. So that was cool. I uh, I got a, I got a cut from the owner of the store, and he's like a pretty big influencer. He cuts a lot of like famous clientele. But we started talking and just hit it off naturally. I feel like I, I usually do I hit it off with people who are like very like minded to me, which fucking makes sense. Welcome to being a human being. And we like exchange numbers and uh, and Instagrams and whatever. And I told him I could I could help him out with it if he needs like video content or work or whatever. I don't know. If this is, maybe I should flip this around. I like the cut though. It's kind of like messy, he cleaned me up. I haven't cut my own hair for like the last two months, so I needed something fucking professional. But cool as hell, guy travels, like he didn't even sleep last night. He was in Seattle, then Japan, then he came back from Miami last night. I don't know why I'm telling you any of this, but this is the haircut. It was expensive though. I mean, as it should be because he is uh, top of the line. So he charged a lot more. It's business 101. If you have a very high demand, you can raise the prices. I don't know if I'll go back to him for a personal haircut. Not that I didn't like him or the store or anything, but just because I'm trying to build the business here. So my money has to go towards my business and investing back into the business, whether it's people or equipment or software or whatever. <laughs> that was a big concern of mine, knowing where I'm going to get my hair cut from because I've been going to the same barber for like three years. But that's neither here nor here. We're about to get back to work. Um, I'm loving the, the setup that I have going on here. It looks like a mess right now already. We're like two days into it, but it's just nice, man. Life is good right now. We're still waiting on a couch. We we're gonna have Wilson's couch delivered from his old apartment here, but his apartment was five stories up and they could not bring the couch down. They had like three or four professional movers. I don't know how you can bring the couch up, but not get it down. So we had to order a different couch, which is supposed to be getting delivered today. So couch delivered, he's getting the TV from his brother's apartment after work. So this place should be tidied up. Almost ready for that housewarming party. Welcome to the vlog. Indeed. Hey. I feel like Wilson's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Take that shit down. These are actually pretty swag. This thing I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks and it comes with three different, or eight different settings. Let's see if I can get better lighting on that. And there's a remote somewhere. I feel like I already fucking lost that. Sick. Sick. No one believes me, man. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna go broke from buying beef. Ground beef. I'm serious, yo. I literally eat. It's funny because I work from home, so all my meals are basically cooked. Now that I'm, you know, living on my own, completely financially supporting myself. Like when I lived at home, I, I still paid for the majority of things that I ate and, and the food that I would get. But my mom would go out and buy a bunch of groceries, right? And I would just eat whatever was in the house. Now, I obviously, I have to be a lot more conscious spending money on food and not just being a dick and eating out every meal and spending, you know, $12 here, $17 here, $24 here. That shit adds up. I'm very simple when it comes to food. I eat some variety of like a Chipotle bowl, basically, for like 
lunch and dinner. So I'll take some sort of meat, some sort of like lettuce, and then I'll mix in peppers, onions, and stuff like that, sometimes salsa if I wanna splurge and get luxurious. So I just keep buying beef, like pounds and pounds of beef and or like steak and meat. So my, my entire fridge is gonna be consistent of meat, almond milk, I fucking love almond milk, guacamole, peppers, and onions, and then drinky drinks. I think my, my beef budget is going to be like hundreds of dollars a month. It's actually out of control. Everyone keeps saying like, you gotta stop eating beef because it's red meat, but like, fuck y'all. I think I'm gonna start a new segment on my vlogs <clears throat> where I just people watch and commentate on the most ridiculous people. There's a couple sitting right there. I don't know if you can see them well, but it's a guy and a girl together. They look like they're out on a date. They're both wearing denim tops, denim jackets, and light blue pants. So between them two, all of their articles of clothing are light blue denim. <clears throat> it's a really fucked up look. It's all in one, one piece. It's not an attachment. The form isn't an attachment. It's all in the same email. Okay, gotcha. Uh, just give me two seconds just to look over everything and see if I have any questions with you. Yep, not a problem. One, fuck Wix.com. If you're ever going to make a website, if you are ever, 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 ever going to make a website, don't use Wix.com. I created the draft guide. We had all the content done in there, sitting there, and then I started getting like emails like, hey, I'm having trouble accessing the guide from people who purchased it, right? And we have I don't know, between 150 and 200 purchases right now, which is great, right? That's really good sales numbers. We had 500 all of last year. I, I, I think at this point, I didn't even launch the guide yet. And we already have this year, like 150 to 200. I'm getting like, hey, I can't access the guide. I see a lot of technical issues. I started talking with Wix. And I spent like seven hours on the phone with them last week. I'm like, okay, we're gonna look into it. And they've been literally looking into it for the last week and a half with no update. They just keep updating me, telling me that they're gonna fucking update me when it's fixed. So I'm like, fuck this, I'm gonna switch domains. I reached out to someone in the fantasy industry who has a website that's like a good membership website set up. And I was like, yo, what do you use? And he uses WordPress, but you know, without getting technical with WordPress, you actually need to have a, a website that hosts your WordPress site. It's weird how you do it, but it's a site called SiteGround. And then I signed up for SiteGround and they're like, oh, well you need to change the name servers on Wix or whatever. So I go to Wix. And they're like, oh, well, we don't actually have the website. You have to go to Network Solutions. So I call Network Fucking Solutions. And they're like, oh, well, you actually have to transfer your website or whatever. We're going to send you a form that you have to go print out. I'm like, where the fuck do you get printers from nowadays? I'm going to have to find somewhere to print it out, send them a signature back, just so the domain can be hosted under them so that I could change that name servers for SiteGround. Once I change the name servers, then they'll have access to the domain and then I could finally set my website up on WordPress and actually I have to reload all the fucking content up into WordPress. So this has been the most fucking miserable experience ever. Don't ever use Wix. Don't ever, 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 ever sell products online. Just go to a nine to five job and you won't have to deal with any of this bullshit stress. I think I've moved a total of 17 feet in the last 36 hours. When I filmed that call yesterday, that was probably 8 a.m. And it's 2.30 p.m. on Friday. I've been working on transferring everything over from Wix to WordPress for almost 36 straight hours. And I will be continually doing that for the next probably six to eight hours. Huge night tonight. <laughs> no. Ew, your gyro looks fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Goat preparing tonight. Game of Thrones. Bike. Bring your own goblet. About to watch a 50 minute fucking YouTube video. Recapping the last seven seasons. I like YouTube. It's a good site. Man, these last 
few uh, days. I know I've been bitching about the draft guide, but we completely transferred it over to the new site. It's looking crispy as a motherfucker. So this is the new site where the draft guide is hosted. I'll tell you, this is definitely the best site I've ever created. So it's up and running. Everyone that purchased the Dynasty Rookie Guide should have complete access to it. Um, and WordPress is just so much cooler because it has a lot more customization. And this did cost me more money, probably an extra, I don't know, $120, $150 to transfer the site over from Wix. But again, you get what you pay for. And I can make this thing so much nicer. And it looks so good on mobile too. Let me pull this up for you. It's got a little unauthorized thing here because if you're not a member, then you can't access certain pages, which is exactly what I was looking for. Basically, we just needed a site that you can block out people that haven't paid for it. So there is a plugin called MemberPress. It's like $100. Like when you're inside the WordPress admin, you basically have all your member details and anyone who you know bought it or purchased access to it will have access to certain pages, which you can set up on the back end. So I needed to one, buy access to MemberPress. And that was pretty much all I actually had to buy because the site itself, I didn't buy a theme. I created it literally just using YouTube tutorial videos. This is a great fucking video. It's like an hour long, but these last couple days really like brought me back to, you know, two years ago when I first left my job and I needed to like figure out fucking everything on my own in terms of the technical details. And then another thing I'm working on is finalizing up advertising contracts, like, you know, influencer marketing. Like I've been talking about some of the sponsorships that I've had over the last couple of weeks. So now I need to make a contract for influencer marketing. You don't think about that stuff when you see like a celebrity post something like a hot girl posts like a Levi's ad or whatever. And it just says ad at the end. Like obviously those things are very contractual, right? There's a lot of money being exchanged between hands and you need to make sure that you're accounted for and make sure Sure that you're doing things correctly and that both sides of the party are happy and if not there's going to be legal ramifications because again there's a lot of money that goes into these things so i'm creating a, a contract right now and no i have no experience doing that but i had to do it when i first started signing marketing clients but it's just shit you figure out on your own and this is what this these last few days have like really fucking they've humbled my ass and they brought me back to when i first left my job i was literally working like 10 to 12 hours a day. And it wasn't like I was grinding so hard. It's because I didn't know how to fucking do anything. So I had to figure out everything from scratch. And now I've gotten to a much more systemized process where I know most of the shit that I have to do. So it doesn't take me as long. I can be a lot more efficient with my, my time, but like legit, this is what I would do. Like if I needed to find something, I go on Google and type in social media advertising contract, influencer marketing contract template, and then I would download it and then I would, you know, adjust accordingly depending on what the contract was and who I was partnering up with and stuff like that. So there is so many free resources out there. YouTube, a great fucking website if you've never heard of it. Google, literally just go on and type your question in word for word and there will have been a thousand other people that have had the same question and they will help you figure it out. So Monday, this vlog will be coming out in two days. I'm heading back to New Jersey tonight because I make the commute every Monday to film the Fade the Public podcast. We've raised over $2,700 for the GoFundMe for our NFL Draft Nashville trip, which is happening next week, baby. Monday right now, taxes due, yeah, yeah that's fun. I had to pay about $1,800 in taxes today. And then Nashville next week, let's get it. Ready for my commute bike to beautiful New Jersey. Pack my shit, grab my shit, walk out the door. Close the door. Walk down the stairs, walk about two blocks over that way. And grab a city bike to the transit. Bruises on your knees. I threw my blue eyelashes, baby. You still look good to me, just like that.
we made it, we fight. Oh, so we are bike. Let me flip it this way. So that's the commute I take from Brooklyn to New Jersey, New Jersey back to Brooklyn, Monday afternoon to go film Feed the Public, and then back Tuesday morning. We bike by Tuesday afternoon, the latest. Pretty shitty commute, takes about hour and 20 in total, but it gets some good exercise in, you get to see the sights. There's always a bunch of weird fucking people you see along the way, so it's, it's entertaining. Plus I get to catch up on my podcasts. But yeah, that's my life as it is right now. Other very exciting news before we wrap up this vlog. Just heard back from the director of marketing from Draft, the Draft app, draft.com, the one I've been telling you about that I'm hopefully try to finagle my way into a partnership with them. They're a big company now that got bought out by FanDuel last summer. I'm going out for, for drinks slash dinner. I don't really know how that's gonna work. With the director of marketing, I think Thursday night, and then gonna go into their office next week, probably before I leave for the NFL Draft, which we do on Wednesday. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna pitch them like I'm fucking Randy Johnson, baby. Hopefully I can get some sponsorship dollars out of there and uh, you know, just have a good partnership. They're, they're an app that I've been using for a long time. They're a company and an app that I believe in. So that's a perfect partnership because when you pitch to your audience, you don't actually have to sell anything because you actually believe in what you are giving to them as value. So that's awesome. Stay tuned next vlog to see what happens with that whole partnership bullshit. And that's it. So make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you enjoyed the video, whatnot, and I'll see y'all in two Wednesdays. Goodbye.